11 fake engine oil additives continue to be sold under new names, despite lawsuits from engine failure class actions across multiple states. One particular additive was directly linked to exploding head gaskets at just 35,000 miles. Today we're covering the additives you should never put in your car, plus the five that I've personally tested and approved. Number 11. PTFE Teflon-Based Additives Starting with the worst offenders, PTFE Teflon-Based Additives are essentially melted plastic being poured into your engine. Some of the most damaging products I've encountered are loaded with PTFE, the same material used in non-stick frying pans. Slick 50 remains the biggest name in this category, claiming it reduces friction. The fundamental problem is that PTFE doesn't dissolve in oil. Instead, it clumps together, settles in your oil pan, and creates blockages in tight oil passages. I've personally torn down engines that were completely gummed up with white sludge, bearings scored beyond repair, lifters starved of oil, and filters completely clogged. Even DuPont, the company that manufactures Teflon, instructed companies to stop using it in oil formulations back in the 1990s. That should tell you everything you need to know about its suitability for engines. Modern engines operate with extremely small oil galleries and high-pressure systems that don't tolerate foreign particles floating around in the oil. While PTFE might initially make your engine run quieter, it builds up over time and eventually chokes your engine from the inside out. Number 10. Chlorinated Paraffins Moving to an even more toxic option, chlorinated paraffins are commonly found in so-called extreme pressure or heavy-duty oil treatments. These additives claim to provide additional protection for metal-on-metal -metal contact situations. The manufacturers conveniently omit the fact that under heat, chlorinated paraffins break down into hydrochloric acid, the same corrosive substance used to remove rust from steel. When this acid circulates through your bearings, cam journals, and cylinder walls, the results are devastating. I had a customer add a bottle of this material to an old Chevy 350. Just two oil changes later, the main bearings were severely pitted, cam lobes showed clear etching marks, and the oil had turned dark while developing a burnt smell. This wasn't normal wear. It was chemical corrosion eating away at the engine internals. Original equipment manufacturers specifically ban chlorinated paraffins in their oil formulations because they're toxic to engines and harmful to the environment. These substances simply don't belong anywhere near your crankcase. Number 9. ZDDP Overload in modern cars. ZDDP boosters represent a case where more definitely doesn't mean better. Zinc diethylphosphate was essential for older engines with flat tappet cams and lifters. If you're running a 1960s muscle car or classic small block, ZDDP remains beneficial. However, dumping zinc boosters into modern engines, especially those equipped with catalytic converters, creates serious problems. Excessive ZDDP burns off and coats oxygen sensors and catalytic converters, leading to check engine lights, poor fuel economy, and converter failure. One customer added two bottles of high zinc additive to his 2014 F-150, and his catalytic converter was completely destroyed in under 2,000 miles. That mistake cost him $1,200 in repairs that could have been completely avoided. Modern oils already contain the proper zinc balance for today's engines. Adding more zinc doesn't provide extra protection. It just creates expensive problems with emission control systems. Number 8. Solvent-Based Engine Flush Additives These so-called engine flush additives are loaded with harsh solvents including kerosene, naphtha, or mineral spirits. While they claim to clean sludge and varnish, they actually break down your oil's viscosity and strip away its protective film. When bearings lose their oil cushion, metal grinds directly against metal. I had one customer use a solvent-based flush before an oil change, and by the time he drove home, his engine was knocking like a jackhammer. Moderate sludge buildup isn't your enemy if you're maintaining proper oil change intervals. Attempting to flush everything out at once with harsh chemicals is like pressure washing a century-old barn. It might collapse before it gets clean. Turbocharged engines are particularly vulnerable because solvents can overheat and thin the oil so severely that turbo seals fail completely. If your additive has the distinct smell of lighter fluid, 
Keep it away from your engine. Number 7. Graphite-Based Additives Graphite additives promise ultra-low friction by coating engine parts with a slick graphite film. While this sounds logical, graphite doesn't remain suspended in oil. It clumps together, settles, and transforms into gritty sludge. I disassembled a small block Ford that had been running graphite additive for six months. The oil pan was coated with thick black paste. Oil passages were half blocked and lifters were oil starved. The owner thought he was upgrading his oil, but he was slowly suffocating his engine. Modern engines operate with extremely tight tolerances and small passages. They simply cannot handle solid particles floating around in the lubrication system. Once graphite cakes up on engine components, it actually retains heat instead of dissipating it. Exactly the opposite of what you want in a high temperature environment. Number six, snake oil engine restorers. Any product claiming to restore compression without tools is simply lying. These so-called engine restorers promise to fix blow-by, seal rings, and restore lost horsepower through some miraculous chemical process. Most of these products consist of thick oil loaded with fillers or soft metals like copper or tin. They don't actually rebuild anything. They temporarily boost compression by filling gaps with various fillers and additives. One customer poured a bottle of this material into his tired Honda before taking a road trip. The engine seized after just 300 miles because the additive had blocked his oil filter and starved the cylinder head of lubrication. When rings are worn or valves are leaking, no bottle on the shelf can fix those mechanical problems. That's work for proper tools and mechanical repair, not chemical shortcuts. Number 5. Mystery Oil Oil conditioners with undisclosed ingredients represent some of the most questionable products available. These bottles typically lack data sheets, testing documentation, or API certification, offering only vague claims about improving lubrication or restoring engine performance. When I contacted one company to inquire about their premium conditioner ingredients, they claimed it was a proprietary blend, industry code for refusing to disclose what they're selling you. I had a Dodge Ram come in after the owner used one of these mystery conditioners. Oil pressure dropped significantly, and the camshaft developed scoring. Whatever chemicals were in that bottle turned the oil into a thick, molasses-like substance after just a few hundred miles of operation. Legitimate products list their ingredients, provide test results, and usually carry API or OEM backing. Products hiding behind marketing terminology should be avoided completely. Number 4. Excessive molybdenum, disulfide. Molybdenum, disulfide, MOS2, can be beneficial in proper doses from reputable manufacturers, but many people mistakenly believe that if a little helps, more must be better. Excessive MOS2 settles in your oil system, cakes up, and clogs filters. I had one customer pour two bottles of generic molybdenum additive into his older BMW. Oil pressure dropped dramatically within 300 miles, and when I removed the oil pan, it contained sludge that looked like wet ash. The filter was completely jammed with black paste. Quality MOS2 products are precisely milled and properly balanced by professional manufacturers. Cheap knockoffs or DIY molybdenum boosters just create contamination and damage. Modern engines with tight tolerances and fine screens aren't designed to circulate powdered metal. Number 3. Magnetic Oil Additives Magnetic oil additives represent complete pseudoscience. Some companies actually claim their additives have magnetic properties that make oil cling better to engine parts. Motor oil isn't magnetic and steel engine parts don't suddenly develop the ability to attract charged oil molecules. That's simply not how physics works. These products usually contain thick oil with metal flakes or mystery particles that accomplish nothing except clogging filters and disrupting oil flow. Real engine protection comes from proper chemistry and engineering, not gimmicks borrowed from comic books. Number 2. Stop Leak Additives Stop leak additives work by softening and swelling rubber seals using harsh chemicals. While this might temporarily stop a drip, you're trading a minor problem for potentially major issues down the road. 
I've observed rear main seals progress from slight leaking to complete failure after a few thousand miles with stop leak in the crankcase. The chemically swollen rubber becomes brittle, cracks, or simply disintegrates. The chemicals don't remain localized. They circulate throughout your oil system, clogging filters, oil passages, and hydraulic lifters. One customer used stop leak to address a valve cover leak, and two months later, his engine developed ticking sounds and lost oil pressure. That quick fix ultimately required a complete engine rebuild. Number 1. Fake Nano Metal Suspensions Fake nanotech represents the most deceptive category of oil additives. These products claim to use microscopic metal particles to coat engine parts and reduce wear, but most lack any legitimate scientific testing. I had a customer add one of these products to his turbocharged Mazda. Two weeks later, the turbo failed completely, and the oil filter was clogged with metallic sludge. One exception exists in this category. Tribotex actually delivers on its claims. However, most other nano additives are simply junk science wrapped in attractive packaging. The five that actually work. Number five, Liquimoly Moes 2 Anti-Friction. This German-made additive has decades of proven results backed by solid laboratory testing. The MOS2 formula uses ultra-fine particles that stay suspended in oil and bond to metal surfaces. I've used it in high-mileage engines and work vehicles with consistently positive results. Smoother cold starts, quieter operation, and lower oil temperatures during extended driving. Number 4. Arcoil. AR9100 Friction Modifier For power stroke diesel owners dealing with stiction, AR9100 is invaluable. This friction modifier specifically addresses hydraulic electronic unit injector problems in 6.0 liter and 7.3 liter power strokes. I've watched rough cold starts become smooth within a week of treatment, with improved throttle response and more stable oil pressure. Number 3. Tribotex Nano Oil Additive The only nano additive I recommend, Tribotex was developed through legitimate research funded by NASA and the Department of Energy. It uses engineered ceramic nanoparticles that actually reverse surface wear by bonding to metal under heat and pressure. While expensive, it provides measurable improvements in high mileage engines showing wear signs. Number 2. BGMO a motor oil additive. A staple in professional service facilities, BGMOA preserves oil integrity under extreme conditions. It contains detergents, dispersants, anti-wear agents, and oxidation inhibitors that help oil last longer and protect better under heat and pressure. It's APISN+, compatible and safe for modern engines without causing ZDDP overload or foaming issues. Number 1. Lucas Heavy Duty Oil Stabilizer Lucas Heavy Duty Oil Stabilizer serves as a viscosity improver for engines with worn bearings, lifters, or loose tolerances. It effectively improves oil pressure, reduces engine noise, and cuts wear in older or high load engines. Used properly in appropriate applications, it delivers solid results without the gimmicks found in other products. Those are the real additives that earn their place in your garage. No magic claims, no glitter, just proven results based on proper engineering and chemistry.